right. When best friends, uh, Colin, uh, when when Woody, wait, sorry, let me start that again. I'm reading the character names right. When Woody finds out his best friend has been sleeping with his girlfriend, he challenges his best friend to a duel. Uh, so Colin uh, is at odds with Woody. They they the only way he sees to resolve it is with an old fashioned duel from like the 1800s. Uh, in response, he burned the the surfboard that his dying father made for him. Enough is enough. They are now going to uh, have a duel over the love of his girlfriend. They go to Patrick Warburton, who is well versed in the the rules of duels, like the weapons, all the pomp and circumstance. You have your other friends that are your seconds. If you're not going to engage in the duel, and a a drug kingpin from Mexico finds out about this somehow, invites them to his mansion to stay the night and wants to witness the duel at a, a posh party. So the entire thing escalates from a fight over a girl into a full-on duel, and neither is backing down. They could back down with an apology, you know? Could be an apology there, and um, they it, it escalates. It escalates. Suddenly, the girlfriend, the girl in question, Abby, played by Rachel Math Matthews, is kidnapped, brought to Mexico, and is is there. They're all dressed in formal formal wear, tuxes, and and like they're dressed like it's a, the eighteen hundreds. So the drug deal, the drug kingpin, has turned it into a big posh event over this fight between two friends. It's a dark comedy that works sometimes. I think it goes a little over the top. I think the running time was a little, little long. Um, like, I didn't know sometimes, if it, is this serious? Because at times it seems ridiculous, and then out of the blue, someone will get killed. Not the... Characters not talking about them, other people. So I really, I really was, I'm mixed on this movie. I mean, I, I genu I genuinely like like the premise I think was, was fine. It was like really interesting, like taking like a modern fight between two friends and like the only way to solve this is a duel. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, yeah. The duel implies that death is on the line. It, it is, is. is that is that the tone is, of the no no hundred percent they have guns they they could like choose from swords knives and they go with these old muskets muskets yeah, but, but what I'm saying is you know yeah that's the those are the elements of the story but deep down you know is the tone deadly serious in the sense of one of these guys could die and that has repercussions yes. or is it a a a yuck yuck type comedy no. That, Okay. It, it, that's what's weird is it's mixed in tone of like that's ah, comedy here and goofy and funny dialogue whatever and it's building up to an absolute they are going to want they're going to try to kill each other yeah. one will walk away and the other one hey you know it's it's 10 paces turn and shoot and the interesting the thing that i thought was really interesting was the going through the rules Patrick Warburton's character is well versed in the rules. Like he he goes into it of like you can do this. His name is Christoph, and he's like a collector historian and goes knows all the rules of old school duels and, and this place of business. He sells antiquities, but also knows all of these rules. Goes with them to Mexico to pull this off. So. I was really, I mean, I give it a six out of 10. It's mm -hmm. worth seeing. Like it's, it, it's, it's, you know, it has its moments. And I think the characters and the performances were actually pretty good. Patrick Warburton is good. And the guy who plays the drug dealer is unhinged. Ronald Gutman as Rudolfo. He's the, he's the drug kingpin. He was very good in the film. 
Um, it's just, I don't know if that mix really works, you know, like I think someone like David Lynch can do like dark comedy really well. And this I felt was a little too goofy and then like deadly serious where there are high stakes. So, and in some ways it's kind of a bromance. Like they have these four best friends and their friendships are ripped apart by these, this, um, you know, act of cheating. So yeah, I, I, I was kind of mixed, but also I, I liked aspects of it. So I give it a very mild recommendation, okay. but um, it's a, it's a really funny concept, but I, I, I felt it didn't really commit to one tone. It was trying to be a little bit of both goofy and dead serious. It did not meld well mm -hmm. for me. So yeah. there you go. But uh, what what it sounds like is for an indie film, this is actually a pretty good movie. Not uh, bad. Yeah. yeah.